I am using this processing sketch to talk about that recording with IMUs. This is using the IMU acceleration measurements to, after integrating two times, obtain the position. There is another YouTube video that talks about this. You should have a link to his video in the description. In this video, he points out that it is not possible to obtain this position because one accumulates the error in the first integration and this becomes even worse after the second integration. And he is right. However, the video has a lot of comments from people who don't seem to be totally convinced. With this video, I am trying to provide some insight about why we cannot do it. First of all, let me show you how the dirt recording works in my case. I have added these two controllers to reset the position of the spacecraft. This one resets the position and velocity when pressed. This other one sets the reset frequency, so we don't need to press the button each time. You can see how the dirt recording works for this sensor. Although we can appreciate the response, there is a tendency in the spacecraft movement. That is because the IMU is not calibrated. In this video it also happens, but it is more subtle. You can see how it always ends up moving in the same direction. Probably his sensor is better mounted than mine, but it also must have some miscalibration. Then, could door problems be solved by calibrating the IMU? Do things get better if you use some wonderful integration technique? Or some heuristic like setting a threshold to start integrating? There is even a comment explaining that it is because the IMU measures your movement on Earth, but the Earth is spinning, and so is the Sun and the galaxy. In order of answering this question, we have here this option. It simulates a perfect static IMU. That is an IMU that remains with zero velocity. If we don't move these sliders, no noise is added to the signals. In such a case, the dead recording makes the position remain static. But this just happens when there is no noise in the measurements. If we add noise with these sliders, you can see the noise here. Even having a perfect static IMU, and without considering the Earth rotation and all that, the dead recording does not produce a static position, not even an oscillating one. The speed at which position diverges depends on the noise variance. With a big variance, this is what happens. With a small variance, the noise effects are minimized, but it is still start drifting. If you know about the stochastic processes, probably you are familiar with this behavior. In particular, the case at hand is a winner process or more commonly known in physics as Brownian motion. In a nutshell, the theory about these processes tell us that the variance in our velocity estimation grows linearly with time, and for the position it grows even faster. If you have noise, then you have a stochastic process, and it is what happens. Probably now you are thinking, OK, so let's apply some filter, and we will reduce the noise. I think that's a bad idea, because it will change the properties of the signals and the mathematical treatment will become more complex, if not intractable. The signals will be certainly denoised, but they will be corrupted and will provide inconsistent information about the movement. So how can we solve this problem? Because everything seems to fail. 
There are some approaches that give decent results, like is using pseudo measurements. This video is an example. Link in the description. However, this kind of approaches will just delay the inevitable. The velocity is reset with each pseudo measurement, but the position will not, and it will accumulate the error. In my opinion, the only way to approach this is to add other sensors, giving you information about the position. This is a camera, a GPS, or a similar information source. Thank you for watching.